guys this is only using transistor circuits and in this video i'm going to show you how to burn a program inside a microcontroller and how to get the project working so here i have a project with me which displays alphabets on this 16 segment display so this is the microcontroller kit and this is a breadboard on which i have made the connections to this 16 segment display I have used port 1 and port 0 of the microcontroller the microcontroller is P89B51RD2 the number is very important because we are going to use it afterwards in the flash magic software to burn the program this is the power jack through which we can give power also we can give power through this uh, soldering pads they have provided some of you may not have this this db9 port in your laptop so for that you can use this usb to rs232 converter it comes with a cable you connect this here and the other end goes to the laptop usb port so yes in this way uh, this is the hardware setup this is my program for this uh, display 16 segment display but if you don't have 16 segment display you can use one led and burn the program of blinking a led so let's get started so let's start with our software part we are going to require the skill microvision 5 software and one more software we are going to require is this flash magic so let's open this software Keel Microvision 5. Click on this project. New Microvision project. And give your file name. Test. Display. Test display, save, and then click on this legacy device database. Then you will get many options for the microcontroller. These all are the companies which manufacture microcontroller. So our our is NXP's. P89 V51RD2. So we scroll down to search our microcontroller. P89, yes, P89. P89 V51RD2, yes. This is our microcontroller. You press OK, No, and our project is created. So our project is this and inside this there is target 1. So we click on this and click on source group and we click on add items to source group 1. So this all options we get. We are writing in C language so we we'll select C file. So now give it a name. 16 add so this is our file 16 and i've already returned for return the code for 16 segment display i'm just going to paste it then to test whether it's right or wrong we click on this build no first we don't click on build first we click on translate to test whether it's right or wrong so it's compiling Zero errors, zero warnings, very good program. Now, we, before clicking on this build, we right click on this target one, click on options for target one. Our frequency is not 40 megahertz, it's 11.0592. If you're not sure, just 
it is mentioned on the kit 11.0592 megahertz yes it's correct and then we go for this output so output we want we want to create our hex file so we click on this create hex file and then ok so now if we click on this build build option our hex file is going to get created so yes creating hex file from dot slash object slash test this so this is the path where our hex file is saved now we are sure that our hex file is created now this kill microvision 5 part is over I'm going to close this so now let's open the flash magic software yes so now we have to select the com port on which we have connected our microcontroller kit so we don't know which com port is connected to the device but we do know that we have connected one rs232 serial adapter to a com port so we search device manager so in this device manager we will see one option ports communication port yes usb serial ch com5 so our microcontroller is on com5 if you're not sure just disconnect the serial adapter see the option is now nowhere now again connect it see it again appears usb serial com5 so now we are sure that our microcontroller is connected to COM port 5. Now the work of device manager is over, so close it. Now select COM 5, baud rate 9600. Okay, perfectly good, 9600, no changing it. Select device 89V51RD2. Select, yes, that is the only thing we have. 89v51rd2 ok and uh, so this is the file the path of the hex file so this is not our path the hex file which we created so we will click on browse our is test display dot hex only the hex files will get will appear here so it's easy to sort out so test this dot hex open it and then before clicking on start you make sure that this one is take verify after programming is clicked and this one is also clicked it is all flash one more settings you need to do is click on options advanced options this thing hardware configuration is by default clicked if it's clicked untick it you get it if it's click then untick it it's very important click on ok now you are free to click this start before clicking this start <coughs> give power to a microcontroller board give power to a 5 9 volt battery or a 5 volt supply i've given power to the microcontroller and i'm going to press the start button so are you all with me so let's do this start attempting to connect reset the device into ISP mode so it's telling me to reset it so I'll click the reset button yes programming the device verifying yes 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 finished it's uploaded it's uploaded now what to do the output is not coming again reset it reset it once yes program has started to work after uploading you reset it and it works so do you want to see the output let's get on to the board 
So yes, we are back to the board and program is working. The display is displaying all the numbers and characters from 0 to 9 and A to Z. It's displaying all the characters perfectly. And yes, the program is working. We can even disconnect. Program is saved inside the microcontroller. And again connect it. The program starts. So there's no issue with that. Uh, and yes, if the program is uploaded and still we're not getting any output, then just reset it. Program will start. So yes, thanks for watching. And if this method works for you, hit a like button, subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank you very much.